I may sound like a broken record here, but I'm going to talk about my big viral video, which has been double demonetized by the Google company. The same video that Google used as an ad in a very popular ad campaign. Thank you to the people who are making little videos about my video problems. Maybe they're having a go at me. Maybe they're helping me. Hey, it goes both ways, doesn't it? But I will not give up on this. I am not giving in. Uh, I was passive for six months and left the site, but now I am fighting back. And I think I have a fair right to fight back now. Anyway, the warning has been removed from this video because it seemed to trigger some people. And this video may easily save you from getting a nasty spider bite. So it's highly educational. Well, hi there. It is the middle of winter where I'm living at the moment. Um, right in front of you there is basically the setup of a very juvenile redback spider. Now, you have to have very eagle eyes to see what's going on. Can you see any web if I put the camera in that zone there? Maybe if I bring in a little bit of light, it's going to help us uh, see the catastrophe that is setting up. Okay, what we have here is uh, basically a redback spider living in the basket there. It'll be the very small redback spider. And if you look really carefully, you can see glistening across frame there, their drop-down lines are used for catching prey. Maybe with some extra backlight there, you can see the mangle of web there. The redback spiders have always got a messy web like this, even when they're quite young. And this will be a youngster. I've got a cat whisker here that Fluffy has dropped for me. Uh, I'm going to try and tease this uh, tiny redback out from its lair there. Ooh, wish me luck. This can be extremely difficult to pull off. I'm just going to basically drag the whisker across the drop down lines there and maybe uh, the redback spider will be fooled. And sometimes this can take uh, a long period of time to pull off and sometimes it can be totally unsuccessful. It's just a matter of uh, trying to outsmart the spider and that's usually uh, very tricky to do. These are a nocturnal spider. That means they are a spider of the night. Uh, they are usually very wary. But what I have noticed is the young ones uh, will often be in their webs uh, during the daylight hours. They tend to not be as, as uh, hidden away as adult redback spiders. It's a very common thing that I've been looking at uh, when I've been looking at these spiders in the times when, well, they're generating new populations. And uh, this is a case of a spiderling from last spider season. Uh, which will be preparing itself for the next spider season, which is really uh, only a month and a bit away. I know one thing that would have flushed a spider, and that's a burst of spider spray. But I'm, oh man, I'm just trying to uh, trick these spiders and learn a way of being able to, you know, pull the spiders out of the, their nest. Um, because I think that'd be a very cool little skill to have, <laughs> especially around my place where we've got so many of these spiders. In no way is, it, is this an exact science. I'm just trying to be like a bug in a sense and keeping an eagle eye out for any sign of what's going to be a very small redback spider. The thing I'm amazed at is how can a spider tell when it's got a critter versus the wind, let's say versus me flicking a whisker in its web. I'd like to know what's going through the spider's brain uh, in the processing of these vibrations on the web. I dare say someone's done a study of that and they've you know, made billions of dollars from it, but uh, fools like me <laughs> are just going to be demonetized off this uh, wretched YouTube site by thinking about it. I thought I just saw the spider. I've got a sneaky suspicion. Uh, the thing right in the middle of the screen is a hole through uh, what is a garden tool, like the hole that you'd hang it on the wall. And I believe the spider is living up inside that hole. You can see the web frailing there in front of the camera. Yeah, so I think I'm getting there, but man, this is a very tricky business to pull off. I've just lost the downline. I've been trying this for quite some time now. I'm going to move into a second strategy here and basically uh, pull the stuff out of this basket here and come in with some of my favorite uh, redback killer here, the uh, multi-insect killer from Coles. I'll carefully uh, unpick this, and I'm pretty sure I know where this spider is going to be residing. I have successfully lured out a, a black house spider with the whisker method, um, but it took time. And from that experience, I learned a few things, but I also know that dealing with redback spiders, uh, they are extremely timid, and I think that's what makes them a little bit uh, evil. I know there's going to be doubters and they're going to say, oh, Leo, a cat's whisker isn't going to lure a spider out of its lair. Well, I have actually achieved this before, but it was with a black house spider that was living under a chair. 
These spiders are very common around our house. I'd much prefer to have these black house spiders versus the redback spider, which is basically a deadly pest in population numbers, which are totally out of control. But it was cool to fool the black house spider because like the redback spider, it's a spider of the night. You tend never to see them during the daytime. And I regard them as my friend because wherever you see the black house spider, you do not see redback spiders near them. I'm not sure whether we'll ever see the cat whisker versus black house spider in full. It's quite an extensive video. And my biggest fear is it'll be whacked down by flaggers or the demonetization process. And never ever are you told how or why a video fails. And that is the epic fail of the whole system and has so many producers on their site totally spooked. Okay, looking down inside the basket with a few tools removed, I can see a spider web all through there. So the redback spider who is in here has certainly made this a very comfortable home. And I think uh, I am right in saying that the redback spider is down in the hole of that tool right in the middle of the screen there. Uh, she's hiding in there. What I'm going to do here is reach into the spider nest. I'm going to drag out the tool that has the redback spider living in the handle area. It's this one here. And I'm going to take it across to somewhere we can examine this a little bit closer yeah see she's in there all right and she's uh having a party hopefully there is a nice beautiful clear shot of where she's residing inside the tool there i'm just going to try and give her a bit of a cat whisker at the back there to see if i can make her move yeah she'd be getting a bit tensed up thinking oh someone's found me and here she comes let me just point out this scenario in how you could easily be bitten by the spider. Okay, that's a garden utensil. You go out to do some gardening, you go and grab it without wearing your garden gloves. What's going to happen? The spider's still in there. Let's say if the spider was a little bit more mature and that was still its home. You go to use your utensil, the spider might get razzled out of there. It ends up in the webbing of your hand or something. It may end up in a pinch point. Next thing, you're going to get a bite from the redback spider who's still in there. Let me see if I can razzle her out of there. And it by tapping here and try and get her out. She's going to probably cling on for all life. That's not a Star Trek cling on, that's trying to cling on and yeah, you know, because she's scared of her life. Okay, I think she is out. Uh, I think that's her down there. And she's sort of playing dead like spiders like to play. There we go, there, having a nice look at her. It's an immature female. Uh, would have been from last spider season. Uh, beautiful in a sense, but very deadly in another. Yeah, she's just trying to work out, oh, what's going on? My life's changed all of a sudden. When she's moving along, she'll be dropping down a web behind her. Uh, and if, if I'm not careful, if I take the tweezers away, she'll also run with the tweezers, if that makes any sense. There, she's running across this lid again. Yeah, she's frantically looking for a home. Yeah, so it'd be uh, one of many, many thousands that would be lurking about uh, waiting for next spider season. But sadly for this little sister, it's going to be a good night, sister, because I don't want her around. Ah, uh, yes, the winter morning sun now exposes the basket in all its green glory. Who would have thought Mrs. Redback Spider was preparing her next assault on my backyard from here? It is the right temperature zone, and if I get the right angle of the dangle here, the morning sun will show up her spider webs uh, more beautifully than ever. A very simple way to work out if you have an active redback spider is you come in and clear out their webs and if the webs reset within a couple of days or the next day uh, you know that they're in their work and their evils and what I will do is come along with some of the Coles multi spray and if there are any other redbacks in there they're going to be run for their lives. <laughs> Whew, that's a bit harsh on the breathing system though. <laughs> I hope we learned something in this video. If we haven't learned something or haven't educated you, I'm in tons of trouble. Uh, you've got to wear gloves if you're in a spider zone. Australia is a bad spider zone. And I taught my wife this very simple thing about gloves is <laughs> you've got to scrunch them up before you put them on because gloves are also the perfect home for spiders. My wife loves to leave gloves on the ground and she's constantly doing this. It's uh, the bane of my life. And if you have gloves on, at least when you pick up your favourite garden tool, uh, the chances of being bitten by Mrs. Redback are far, far less. Just before we leave this video, I'm just going to try and find a set of gloves that my wife has left on the ground here when she does her gardening. She does tons of gardening. And, uh, you know, I've got a great stink bug uh, control method. And since I've used that method, we've had the best lemons ever. Look at this here. I've got to do a more controlled uh, version of how I do this because once you get rid of the sink bugs, uh, your citrus go berserk. Um, sink bugs really do a lot of damage in the garden. I mean, tons of damage and nothing really takes them out. Okay, 
I have found exactly what I want to find. How typical. Uh, I see this all the time. There we go there. Uh, my missus has left out gloves on the ground there. There could be anything living inside there. And actually, while I'm here, oh, I can see something. Oh, look at that there. How good are your spider eyes and uh, noticing what web is going on there in that uh, part of the watering can, which is a favourite for the redback spider. Yes, there's a juvenile living in there. Okay, I'll move this to an appropriate area to deal with the problem here. Yep, you leave your gloves on the ground. Well, there you go. Okay, classic example. There's a ground-hugging spider there of some sort. Someone's going to ID it for me. Look at that. Okay, the perfect example of why you don't leave your gloves on the ground. I think that's a wolf spider. It looks like one of those ground-hugging things that loves gloves. I'm just trying to move this spider, get it into a safe position because I believe it's a friend of the garden. Look how well camouflaged that spider is there. You'd barely know it's there until it starts to move. At night time, if you come out the backyard, man, you see these things everywhere and I'm hoping that they're pulling back red back numbers. That's what I'm hoping. But it was a friend of the glove when it was laying idle on the ground, but it's not really a friend of the glove as I'm trying to move this to a safer spot. Well, Mrs. Whatever Spider has scampered away, and I'm just still teasing these over in case there's something else here. Anyway, there won't be anything else uh, left here shortly because I'll just move this to a spot where I can deal with a double whammy sort of situation. Okay, about here looks fine. Well, the juvenile redback spider living up inside the watering can ain't gonna be much longer. Okay, good night, little sister. Well, that's funny, I can't see that red back spider lair there anymore, can you? And the best part is mummy's gloves have been made very, very safe. I think that's the third set of mummy's gloves I've had to incinerate because of her passion for leaving them on the ground.